Does the COVID-19 vaccine cause Bell's palsy? Have you guys seen on the internet where there are photos of like three or four people with a droopy side of their face? Their face is drooped on one side, their mouth is sort of curved down. This is Bell's palsy. And the question is, if the Pfizer BioNTech COVID-19 vaccine causes this Bell's palsy? Well, I have an answer for you, so keep it locked here. I wanna quickly tell you what Bell's palsy is in case you're not sure if you never heard, of, heard about it before. So Bell's palsy um, basically is a uh, sudden weakness or paralysis of your facial muscles. It causes one side of your face to droop down, the mouth included. The good thing is that in most cases, this weakness is temporary and significantly improves over weeks. Um, however, you know, sometimes uh, recovery can take up to six months. Some people will have it for life, but for most people, it does improve. Causes can be viruses, can be other things, but the big question is, does the Pfizer COVID-19 vaccine cause Bell's palsy? Well, the answer is, we don't think so which is a very good thing. That's right, I actually looked at the data on the FDA website today to take a look for myself to see what they said. And this is what the FDA says. First of all, this is what happened in the, the Pfizer trial. It says, Bell's palsy was reported by four vaccine participants and none who got the placebo. So the four people who got Bell's palsy were in the vaccine uh, receipt group. The cases occurred on days 3, 9, 37, and 48 after getting vaccinated. Um, there has been some resolve in some of the cases uh, in terms of the symptoms. What's important, though, is what they go on to say is that the observed frequency of reported Bell's palsy in the vaccine group is consistent with the expected background rate in the general population. So that's, let me explain what that means. What it means is that the number of people who got Bell's palsy um, out of the total number of people in the vaccine group in the, in the trial is no different. It's not appreciably different than the typical number of people who get Bell's palsy in the general population, people who are just walking around doing their thing. In other words, the incidence or the rate doesn't seem to be any higher um, in this group of people who got the vaccine. So therefore, the FDA says there is no clear basis upon which to conclude a causal relationship at this time between the Pfizer um, BioNTech COVID-19 vaccine and Bell's palsy. But of course, the FDA will recommend surveillance uh, for cases of Bell's palsy with deployment of the vaccine into larger populations. So in other words, guys, we have to keep studying this, keep looking at it and keep uh, seeing if, if anything changes with that or if there are more cases. This is great news. Um, I want you to share this message widely because I know many of you guys have been afraid, you've been scared, you've been worried about it, and I understand that completely. Um, so make sure that you share this with other folks so that they know the facts as well. Any information or updates we get on this, of course, I will let you know. And hope is on the horizon, guys. The vaccine is coming very soon. But we've got to keep wearing our masks, social distance, avoid unnecessary travel, stay out of groups, use hand sanitizer, wash our hands, all of that good stuff. Guys, I'm Dr. Jen Caudill. Please subscribe to my channel if you have not already. I do daily videos. And don't forget to click the little bell to get updates. Guys, I will see you soon.